Hi, my name is Neil Kelleher. I'm the author of SensationalYogaPoses.com and I recently had a question about Arda Matsyam Drasana. The problem, actually is a problem with the pose. When doing the pose, the student who wrote to me told me that they get a, a binding sensation or a tightness or a pinching actually in the groin and I'm guessing here I've had similar problems doing the same pose on one side of my body and I also get the same sort of sensation when doing a pose like Marichyasana C. It looks like this twisting to the side. It feels like there's a pinching or actually a squeezing going on inside the hip. In Matsyam Drasana the same sort of thing. When I pull the knee across, in here it binds or at least it used to. So in this video or this set of videos, I'll go over a few different ways that you can approach the pose in the, with the goal or with the idea of trying to avoid the pinching sensation. So for the first step, so first of all, Matsyam Drasana, if you've not seen it, there are a couple of versions. In one version, you can grab the foot, and here you can see I'm not the most open individual. So from here the hand, you're twisting, the hand is outside the knee and you can grab the foot. Or another variation, the one that I normally do, you can put the hand under the leg and ideally, I'm not doing it, ideally you can grab the wrist. I'm only grabbing my fingers. Um, it takes me a little bit of time to actually grab onto my wrist, but that can be the goal. And actually for a lot of people doing that pose, um, you might find you're happy just being able to grab the fingertips. But anyway, the focus in this video is trying to find ways to avoid the groin pain or the inner thigh pain. So one suggestion that I would have, and the interesting thing is that both the person who wrote to me and myself the feeling more often than not comes in bent knee poses where the chest is close to the thigh. So it can happen in happy baby pose when you're pulling the knee back like that, but you're lying on the back. It might also happen, as I said, in Marichyasana. Um, so one, one suggestion, particularly in, in the poses where you are twisting, and obviously in this case, Ardha Matsyandrasana, in this pose, if your left leg is on top, you're turning your rib cage to the left. And the normal tendency might be to allow your pelvis to turn to the left as well, so that you're twisting partially in your spine, but also twisting your pelvis as well. What I would suggest is that that, that actually can sort of bind the inside of your um, left hip. So to create a bit more space here between your inner thigh and the front of your pelvis, what you can do instead is focus on turning your pelvis to the right. So that way, so this hip moves back, the left hip moves forward while turning your rib cage to the left. Perhaps a better description, if you have your bottom leg hip on the floor, so if your right hip is on the floor when twisting to the, to the left, you can actually lift your left hip and so to get the same action to turn your pelvis to the right, move your left hip forward. And what you may find is that helps to open up the inside of the left hip. And then from there, keep that hip moving forward and then turn to the left. And then from there, once you've got the bind and being careful to note, if you haven't got any pain at this point or any pinching, what you can then do is focus on lifting your ribs away from your pelvis so you're creating space here. Keep the space in your hip and see if you can then slowly drop your hip. And then from there you can work towards either grabbing your foot, maybe even grabbing the bottom knee as a start to grabbing the foot. You could also try lifting the foot to make grabbing it easier. And then from there, slowly push the foot down. Notice again my hip was lifted. Um, okay, so let's go back. So that was trying to bind. But to, to avoid the hip pain, if you find that pushing your hip down causes the, the 
squeezing sensation to come back, keep the hip up. This pose is mainly a twisting pose, so you can still focus on twisting your rib cage even with your hip up. It's just that you lean back a little bit at the same time.